towards your dream. I want you to know something, that the bigger your dream is, I want you to understand the harder to grind. Ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? What are you willing to do that you've never done before? What are you willing to say that you've never said before? You got a dream to buy a house. You got a dream for better relationships. You got a dream to, to win a fight. You got a dream to get your family out of the hood. You got a dream to lose weight. I mean, whatever that dream is, whatever you have, that goal, that improbable feat. They should take sacrifice, blood, sweat, tears, absolute, total focus of, of pushing yourself. And if dreams and goals are coming easy, I submit to you, it's time for you to ratchet up what you're going after because you can achieve more. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four-year degree from the university. Start with nothing if you are willing to rise. If you came from a place where you had nothing, that's everything that you need. I kept running toward my dream. Unreasonable results in your life. Like living your dream and taking charge of your destiny, you've got to be an unreasonable person. The dream's got to get bigger than the disappointment, than the fear, than the anxiety, than the overwhelm. It's got to get bigger, the dream. Once that dream gets bigger and you get a scent for that dream, you start to smell that dream, there's nothing on planet Earth that can stop you. You become armed and dangerous. You are the most dangerous individual on planet Earth. What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from seven. Don't let nobody steal your dream. I used to ask myself, can I do this? And something said within me, you're the one. You're the one. I'm a high school dropout. I'm losing. I'm working minimum wage. I'm losing. I'm getting in trouble with the law. I'm losing. My mom ain't talking to me. And a strained relationship, I'm losing. I'm asking you to control what you can control. You can control going to bed. You can control getting up. You can control being on time. You can control going to class. You can control showing up. You can control doing your homework. You can control your attitude. You can control being nice. You can control doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. It's your boy E.T. said, you want to be a winner and you want to stop losing? Then minimize the errors and make the rest of your life the best of your life. Even when it looks like you're losing, you're winning. Never let uncertainty or doubt be the reason why you quit. Don't underestimate yourself. You do what you can do, and God will do what you can't do. Take the initiative, learn something new, throw your net on the other side, be ambitious, Reach, ask for help, not because you're weak, but because you want to remain strong. Let's make up your mind and expect things to get better for you. You need to walk into your future whole condition, ready to grab the people that believed in you before you made it to the top. Go back and get them, but first you've got to condition yourself. Come on, who am I talking to? I'm talking to that person that's tired of where they are. You have to find a way. You must find a way to get back up. This is not the end for you. You will not quit. Do not take this life for granted. Live every moment knowing you will have no regrets. We are alive and breathing and capable of more than we could ever imagine. My parents were, were great. Growing up, they instilled in me the importance of imagination and curiosity. And understanding that, okay, if you want to accomplish something, you know, I'm not just going to sit here and say, yes, you can do whatever you want. Yes, you can, but you have to also put in the work to get there.
right? So they taught me that at a really early age, man. And uh, when you grow up as a kid thinking that the world is your oyster, all things are possible if you put in the work to do it, you grow up having that fundamental belief. I would rather you confront, fight, and fail than for you just to settle for the comfort of remaining the same. Change is tough, but change is possible for some of you. The world's not going to become easier all of a sudden. No, as you mature, you're going to have more responsibilities, more things that people expect out of you. But the truth is, you can do hard things. Truth is, as long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. Ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? You think you're just here to work on a job, pay the bills, keep a roof over your head, a car note, and then die? Come on, give me a break. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Decide you're not going to be the same person. I want you to have the mindset that you're going to live an expanded vision of yourself. And you're going to go all in. I don't know your name, but I know you have a dream. You may be listening to me in your closet, your bedroom, the gym, the car, the bus, the train, the plane. I don't know where you're going, but I know you are going somewhere. You've got a destination. Keep a no excuse mentality. Then the sky is not your limit. The sky is your starting point. I never get turned off every single day. I want my destiny. I want my dream. You got to have this vision of yourself beyond your circumstances. You got to see yourself every day. I can do this. I can make this happen. I'm blessed and highly favored. Good things are supposed to happen to me. You've got to see yourself every day and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. Those of you out there, you lose it and you don't deserve to lose. You put in the work, you worked hard, and you lose it. And I need you to do me a favor. This is the year to turn that around. Yes, you were rejected the last time, but go for it again. You were overlooked the last time, but show up again. Why? Because you are not finished. It is not over. You are not done. It is not too late. But what separates a dreamer from a doer? Let me break that down. Three words, consistent follow through. Imagine a basketball player shooting hoops. How do you know if that shot's gonna go in? How do you know if that person is a shooter? You know how you become a shooter? You know how you knock it down? It's all in the follow through. I know about tough times. They can make you or they can break you. Come on now, come on, bring it. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, God not giving us spirit of fear. So I didn't have time to be fearful. I had to replace fearfulness with being fearless and create it and take the initiative to do something else with my life. I am going to make it. This is my comeback story. It takes faith to step into your purpose. It takes faith to step into your destiny. It takes faith to pull away from everything that is familiar, to step into uncharted territory, to become the person you were born to be. It takes faith. So from the start, you must decide that you refuse to remain where you are. 
Have you ever thought about inspiring somebody else? Have you ever thought about lifting somebody else? We need you to be a light in the midst of darkness. This world has gone crazy. This world needs you to rise up. This world needs your dream. This world needs you to be you. Give as much time and energy to your dream as you do to your fears. That creates the opening for miracles to show up in your life. This is a reality check. This is the moment an opportunity comes your way. This is a chance for you to realize that you got work to do. Do you not realize that you are equipped to overcome every challenge that stands in the way of the vision that you have for your life? It begins with making a decision. It takes strength to fight through adversity. It takes strength to fight through setbacks. And the longer you go, the stronger you get. The longer you go, the stronger you get. All you need is stamina. All you need is mental and emotional stamina. You're going to get tired. You're going to get fatigued. But sometimes you got to catch that second win. Some of you ain't been fighting long enough to get that second win. Some of you ain't been grinding long enough to get that second win. When that second win kicks in, oh, you unstoppable. When that second win kicks in, can nobody stop you. That second win is right around the corner. Corner. That second win, it's almost there. You gotta keep grinding, you gotta keep pulling. And when your second win kicks in, all oh, they in trouble. And that requires you to have your mind made up. But you have the opportunity every single day to make extraordinary decisions. And what you do today will determine your future. There's no weakness that can be invited to this party. If you want something, go get it now. You're looking for reps, you're looking for 10 reps, you're looking for 12 reps. How about 13? How about 14? How about 20? How about 50? How about giving it everything you got until there's nothing else left to give? If you could hear your future self talking to you now, the future you would say thank you for not giving up. Thank you for not throwing in the towel. Thank you for not allowing the despair and the anguish and the anger and the bitterness and the jealousy and the ego to eat away at your progress and your perseverance and your ability to travail and endure. But I want this so bad. I'm not about to let this pain stop me. I'm not going to let my past failure and my past mistakes stop me. And go after what it is that you are seeking. Because the opportunities are yours. Go get it. Go get it now. And give it everything you got. Because the victory goes to those who finish. The victory goes to those who never give up. You might be feeling the pressure of life right now. But don't let the pressure take your eyes off the finish line. To others, it might look like you already have a good life, but you know what you want for you. Everyone won't understand why you go so hard and they don't need to because it's your journey. It's your decision. And it's your understanding of your why that matters. You're the only person who needs to be okay with how you live your life. You could be hated by everyone. And if you're okay with your actions and behavior, you'll be content. At the same time, you could be loved and adored by every damn person on the planet. But if you're not okay with how you've lived your life, you'll go to bed with emptiness. It's a time for people to doubt you. It's going to take time for people to believe in you. Are you willing to pay the price to flip the script? How long will it take for you to shift? I mean, it took a while for you to talk yourself out of it. And that's going to take a while to talk yourself into it. Giving up might have been what you used to be, but not now, not today, not anymore. Because you control the label, baby. You do what you do. By what you do, people are going to know you. It takes strength to keep going. We got to get in the weight room. It takes strength to get going. We got to build our mind up. It takes strength to get going. You got to get around the right people. It takes strength to finish. This is it right here. This is that moment that you got to work. 
This is that moment when you got to push. There is no weakness in the place of business. There is no time to be wasted in the place of business. There are going to be times when you give everything you have. And everything that you have is not enough. Push through the pain. Push through the anguish. Push through the brokenness. Do not stop. It's the no quit mentality. Yes, you're going to get tired. Yes, you're going to get frustrated. Yes, you're going to feel like giving up. Listen, I need you to give this last rep everything you got. You got to make the opportunity happen. You got to be fired up. You got to be hungry for it. You got to have the desire to push yourself. No matter what you set out to do, your first word should always be, I believe in me. When you have fallen, when you have made a mistake, the worst thing you can do is criticize yourself. At the end of the day, life can be very painful. We can experience loss and worry and the insomnia of reoccurring heartbreak and hardships. It is inevitable. It is self-compassion that gives us the power to face our failures, to face our fears, to face our insecurities, to face what we don't like about ourselves and come out on top. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world, and so do you. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I'm telling you from personal experience, I know what my life was like when I put in 55. I know what it was like when I didn't try. I know what my life was like when I didn't care. I know what my life was like when I didn't have any dreams or any goals, like, like I didn't want anything. I know what my life was like. Now I'm putting in 120, baby. You put in 120. Not only does it affect your life, it affects your family's life. It affects your friend's life. It affects your community's life. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to get from where you are. I'm challenging you to stop settling. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to stop accepting the life that was given to you. I'm challenging you to give 120%. Are you hearing me? Trying is not good enough. Trying is not going to get you there. We need potential. We need application. We need dedication. We need motivation. We need discipline. We need to understand that work must be applied. And even when you don't want to do it, find a way to do it anyway. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. If you are going to win the fight for your future, then you are going to have to master self-compassion. Face the conflict. Embrace rather than avoid challenges. And you don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. When you find yourself criticizing yourself, negatively comparing yourself to others, try to find inspiration in their successes and strengths instead of feeling threatened. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're going to fall. And when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. But that ground is a hard surface. And I'm going to tell you something. It ain't going to move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up and you need to rise above it and you need to start moving. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Don't 
operate while you're under the spell or the effect of what's going on. Stop half doing stuff. Stop putting forth 50% effort, 60 but Look, stop. Do it right or just don't do it at all. Are you hearing me? Do it right. There's a lot of people walking around today. They have unchecked rage, unchecked aggression, unchecked anxiety, fear, insecurity. You're going to have to care enough about yourself to face it and find a resolve. You got to find out what's the next things you need to be doing. How are you going to push it to that level and go beyond it? How are you going to maximize your time? How much energy are you going to put into this craft? Everything you have, everything you are, everything you're doing, like it's, it's 78. And what I need you to do is I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, come on, quit, stop playing. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. Stay dedicated. You got to keep on pushing forward. You got to keep on fighting the good fight. You got to put aside the excuses because excuses won't lift you up. Excuses won't give you the power that you truly need. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's 4 a.m. and your alarm clock goes off. You're thinking. Do I really need to get up? Maybe five more minutes. Let me just rest my eyes for five more minutes. But then you kick a leg out from under your blanket and the other leg follows. You feel that cold hit you like a shot of ice to your brain. A silent whisper crosses your mind. Why am I getting up? Should I go back to bed? And you're thinking to yourself, I'm so tired from the day before. Why am I doing this to myself? Every fiber of your being is telling you, just go back to bed. This mountain is too high. It's just not worth it. But today, today is different. Today, something else is speaking to you. It's a hunger. The beast inside. First, there was a whisper. Then the loudest scream you ever heard. Yelling at you. To get up. Put both feet on the ground and ride. It is time to take on this glorious day. Welcome to the first day of your new life. A life where you decide every moment of every day to better yourself. To make those uncomfortable choices to get you where you want to be. What's up, man? I made it back. Another 24 hours down. It's incredible. I'm proud of you for that. And I know you don't want to be here. I get it. State of mind. It's tough. I understand that. Don't quit. Because if you quit, you're going to wind up right back where you started. Remember when you started how bad and how desperate you were to be right where you are right now? Keep that same attitude, man. Yeah, keep moving forward. Keep pushing it. Don't allow fear of failure and the, the, the allure, the attractiveness of playing it safe in life to draw you in. You can't get out of life alive. You got to die to leave here. When you're asleep, ladies and gentlemen, you need your dreams. I'm here to tell you that when you're wide awake, you also need your 
dreams. You must have your goals. You'll never make it as a wandering generality. You must become a meaningful specific. If you're going to work tomorrow because that's what you did yesterday, you're not going to be as good tomorrow as you were yesterday because now you're two days older and no closer to the goal which you do not have. I'm telling you to keep going when you face opposition. I'm telling you to keep going when you face adversity. I'm telling you to keep going because years from now, when you look back, make sure you remember one thing about this moment, that you gave everything you had, that you leaned in on those late nights and those early morning wake-ups, the hours upon hours in the books, the preparation, dedication, and the resilience, that you knew who you were, and let it manifest and lead you into the future. Hello, you can't get out of life alive. So there's no safe position. You can die in the bleachers or you can die on the field. You might as well come out on the field and have a good time, right? No problem is permanent. Or you start thinking the problem's pervasive because I haven't handled my finances, my whole world's over. Or because my relationship's bad, my whole world's over. Or all this is happening because there's something wrong with me. Your life is bigger than that. People need a new perspective, and you can't do it by just sitting and thinking. You gotta move your body, you gotta change your energy and your focus, because low level of energy, I don't think I'm how smart you are, you're not gonna use all your ability. But if I get you into a higher state of being, mentally, emotionally, physically, then all of a sudden you start remembering who you are and you start coming up with answers that you never even thought were possible before. Doesn't it really astonish you that you are this fantastically complex thing? And that you're doing all of this and you never had any education in how to do it? You never learned, but you're this miracle? It's one of the great wonders of life. You aren't here to simply survive or navigate foreign territory. No, you... You were made for this moment. Most of us have been conditioned not to, to take a risk. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. One word, progress. Progress equals happiness. If you keep growing, you're going to feel alive. And if you keep growing, you're going to have more to give. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. Doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level, but it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. If you're willing to endure, to hang in just a little bit longer, give just a little bit more, if you're willing to put all of yourself into the task before you, you may just be amazed at what life gives back. The people who dream and those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. If you do not do what you're doing right now well, your goal is just going to be a fancy desire, isn't it? whether it's fear or anxiety, whatever it may be, I believe that every single person who's going out to chase their dreams has those voices in their head. I think it's part of the human experience. Stay strong, have faith, keep pushing through. I've said this before and, and I'm living proof of it, is that on the other side of your struggle is something good. On your other side of your struggle is something better. On the other side of your struggle is some sort of success. So I'm here to tell you today that you can have anything you want. Be anyone you want, but you're gonna have to work. See, dreams, aspirations, they're not easily obtained, but one of the hardest things to do is to keep going, is to keep chasing. You don't realize your dreams are so important because your DNA, who you are as a person, is wrapped up in your dreams. Go after this thing called life.
don't look back and have regrets. Understand that you're at a place and a position right now when hard work and valuing people, nothing can stop you, I promise you. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. See, your dream will cause you to go insane because what you want, it hunts you every single night. See, the big dogs, they won't give you the opportunity. You're going to have to take it. Keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. No matter what happens, you will not quit because quitting is not an option because you have a why, you have a passion, you have a purpose. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I have a dream. Your DNA is in your dream. This is your moment. And you got to look in the mirror and believe that. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So take advantage of today. Take advantage of tomorrow. Take advantage of every opportunity that you have to do what you want in life. It's time to ignite the dream. It's time for you to stop settling for just money and really open your game up. Dreams require sacrifices. Like, my city's expensive. Move. My car payments are high. Sell your car and take the bus. Yeah. This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams.